guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Hut Roulette, and today we're bringing you guys episode number 18. And last episode, if you have not watched it, it's been such a long time since we posted a Hut Roulette video, but right now we are on an 11 game win streak. We're trying to bring it up to a 12th and a 13 game win streak this episode, but it's going to be a little bit difficult because we are starting fresh in Division 1. Uh, as you can see there, I did play a game at my house in Mississauga, and it was just too laggy to even play. I just wanted to play with the main team, but it was just not possible, so I lost that game. But we're back in Hamilton. We got some good internet. We're going to see what we can do with this team. Anyways, it's looking really good so far. If you've not seen the team in a while, I'll just give you guys a quick refresher on it. But I did move Patrick Kane to the right wing. I honestly think that he would play a little bit better on the right side. Give Rick Nash the left side and uh, have Patrice Bergeron centering both of those guys. So... I think that's a pretty strong first line. The second line, I did move down Gabriel Landeskog. Honestly, I think James Neal has been playing pretty well. I watched my last episode of Hup Roulette, and he scored a couple goals, so I want to kind of keep him in there, playing alongside with Johnson and Nyquist. Kind of give him, I guess, give this line a more of a nice scoring touch. And then on the third line, we got Wheeler, Little, and Marlowe. You guys know, probably one of the best third, fourth lines we've had in Hut Roulette so far, as well as Wayne Simmons, Couture, the new pickup from last episode, and Gabriel Lanscock, also a new pickup in last episode. I put those guys all in one line, and I really think that looks a, like a pretty nice lineup. So, going on to the defense here, we got Milestone, Jake Garrison, uh, we got Roberto Luongo, and Nicholas Cromwell on our first line uh, defensive spots. Uh, we got Hamilton, uh, Mark Stahl playing together, as well as the Johnson Twins playing together as well. So our team is ready to go. If we can win this next game, we can buy an 8750 pack for the team. So I really want to win this next game. I want to get some more changed teams, more assistant captain cards for the team that we can add on to these players. But we'll see what happens, all right? So let's get right into the first game. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we're playing in Boston, guys. I haven't played in about two months. So I'm a little bit nervous, my palms are kind of sweaty, but we're going to get this game going. Let's see how much the game has changed, and let's not lose a goal right here, no! Oh god, alright. Whew, that's a little scary. Let's get this game going. Oh no, there is, there it is, the first goal. It's a cross creaser, I kind of let that up uh, for him to score that. Some pretty bad defense, not going to lie, but we're down one to nothing in the first period. Come on, we gotta get that goal back. That's how you do some passing plays. We pass it to the defense, pass it back to the winger, center it, and now we have tied it back up. Gustav Nyquist shooting it top right. That is what I'm talking about. We tie it up right away within one minute. But that was some nice passing. Passing it down to James Neal, of course. Nice little open spot. Bishop's not gonna save that. One to one. Let's keep it up. Oh no! Oh man, I'm just getting my defense out of position. I saw my I saw myself drag him out, and right there, Claude Drew tucks him a goal. Or was that Cronwell? I think that was Drew that tucked that one in. So now it is two to one. We gotta work on our defense just a little bit. Yeah, that was a bad bite, and yeah, just a nice little pass in front of Drew, and of course our goalie can't get back fast enough. So two to one. We still got some time left. No, another cross creaser. Oh man, I thought my guy would pick up the puck, but he just kind of fumbled it and went straight to his guy. Passed it out in front again. Man, those passes are absolutely killing me right now. So, three to one. Come on. Oh, are you serious? There was a cross crease to score the goal. I really just want to get a couple goals here so I can tie back up. I mean, it's a little cheesy to score these goals, I know, but there it is. That's got to be in. There it is. Patrick Kane finally gets some setup going, and Patrick Kane scores us a goal. Captain Kane. There it is. We're down by only one now. Let's see if we can keep it up. We just need one more. What's going on? I made a nice move there. Come on, I'm just going to shoot on net. Just get it on net. What just happened? Uh, I don't exactly know what just happened. I lost connection to the server. I think I might have just lost that game. I don't know what just happened to the internet there. 
Hopefully that, uh, I think that was me, maybe. My internet seems fine right now. There's nothing wrong with it. And there it is. I'm kicked off the server. So, I don't really know. I think I should restart the game. I mean, we had some pretty good chances there. And yeah, it looks like we probably lost the game. I'm not sure if I was booted off or what it was, but... Alright, so our internet is fine. I don't know why I was booted off the server, but... I'm not sure if I should count that as a loss. I, I don't think so. I mean, I was down 3-2, to two, but... I'm just gonna keep playing another game, so I guess you guys will see like two and a half games in this episode. But, oh man, that's another loss on the record for... I don't know for what reason. But anyways... We gotta put on some more uh, contracts and fatigue cards and some players. So after that, we'll start into the second game here, and we'll pretend like we nothing ever happened. So let's get into the next game here. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we're starting up our second game. Took me almost 15 minutes to find a game for some reason. People just kept quitting off after seeing my goalie's record. But anyways, we're starting up the fr next game. Uh, we're warmed up just a little bit, so I'm hoping that uh, we can play a good game here. Anyways, let's get it going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there's a breakaway. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, no. I should have went on the backhand, but I thought I could do the backhand forehand there. Just keep it simple. But still, he does a nice little poke check there, and it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Yes, there is a goal. What a shot from Jason Garrison, and that is post in, and he's giving us the lead. Milestone Garrison. That's what I'm talking about. Nice little shot. Just beats, I don't know who his goalie is, but nice little pass from Cromwell, just getting by the defender, and boom! Get in there. Mason also with a right-handed glove, but we beat him on the, I guess, glove side. It's one to nothing. Let's keep it up. Oh man, Kane had a pretty big shot there. And uh, Steve Mason with a nice blocker save. Still one to nothing. Good chance there. Yes! He plays it right out in front and Tyler Johnson with the interception right in front of the net and he makes no mistake there. Two to nothing. Nice little lead. Woo! Come on, don't let him shoot the puck. All right, nice save by Roberto Luongo there. Just kind of bailed us out, but still good. All right, so after two, we're playing a little bit better. Definitely outplaying him by quite a bit as well. 11 to seven shots. He hasn't really gotten many shots on our net. We've been just absolutely dominating him in the offensive zone. So let's see if we can keep that up in the third period and kind of secure this lead just a bit more. Oh, what a pass! Go, Kane, go! Oh, no! I thought he was going to come up for the flying poke check again, but... Oh, right in front! Rick Nash! Ah, oh, Steve Mason! Nice little save. There it is! Goose got a break, and we make it 3 to nothing. I just wanted to kind of secure this lead. But we uh, score with only three minutes left in the third period, which means hopefully we can get that 12 game win streak, which I can open up at 8750 pack. Definitely, he didn't have the best team ever, uh, especially playing against mine. So, I mean, he played pretty well this whole game, but just couldn't uh, defend against some of my quick players. Alright, so that is the end of the game. We played pretty well with a score of 3 to nothing, which means we continue that 11-game win streak to a 12-game win streak, even though we did uh, lag out of the last game. I don't even know what happened. But anyways, we're going to go buy that pack. We're going to go choose a 12th player. Let's take a look at the stats. Not the 12th player. What am I saying? The 12 buy now, 12K buy now minimum. So we got 20 shots in that game to 10, 8 minutes and 37 seconds on attack to 6 minutes and 7 seconds. So we definitely outplayed him by quite a bit. Let's take a look at the 3 stars. Gustav Nyquist with the 1st star. Obviously getting us that um, nice ending goal. Just to get that 3-0 lead. Nicholas Cromwell with 2 assists. And Jason Garrison as well. From the blast from the point. And he also gets a 3rd star. So we also um, we won 
a shutout, which means we can also buy a change team or change position on any player. So I will remember to do that as well. But we'll go ahead into the um, auction search page and I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so we'll go ahead and buy the player first before we buy the pack. The collection type has been put onto players. Buy now minimum set to 12,000. So we're choosing the 20th player here. So let's see what we get. Hopefully it's going to be something good. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Sergei Bobrovsky is going to be the next pickup. An 89 overall goalie. I know he's a pretty uh, tall guy as well. 6'2", 182. I'm not sure if he's taller than Roberto Luongo, but he definitely has some uh, overalls over him. So we'll go ahead, buy him out, see where he fits in. Also, we're going to be now buying the pack, but it is right now 7.21 p.m. And uh, there are some new cards that are out, like Eric Carlson. There's some player of the games. There's some milestone cards as well. So we're going to see if we can pull these in one of the gold packs. I mean, it's going to be pretty uh, rare, I guess, if we were to pull one. But you never know. There is that chance. So let's open up that 8750 pack. See if we can add anything to the team that's good. Come on. One orange card. One fiery card. One milestone card. Uh, no. Nothing too great in this one. We got Braun. We got Spurgeon. Nobody that we can use to replace anybody, but we did get an assistant captain card. That's pretty good as well as a change team Colorado, which is also very good as well. I will take both of those. I can that means I can put on my Colorado change team and another change team of my choosing on one of my players as well as apply assistant captain. So that's pretty nice. So send those to the collection. I'll show you the final team. Alright, so we made some changes to the team. I applied some of the consumables as well. And as you can see, Patrice Bergeon now has the assistant captain card. Out of all the players, I really think he has the biggest presence on the ice, especially defensively. Uh, so I want to give him that extra speed, some extra hands, some extra defense. And I think he'll play a lot better on the team with that assistant captain card. Obviously not that much better, but a small little improvement. As well as we applied the change team to nobody on the first or second line, but we applied them more to the third line. Uh, who do we do it on? So the third line, I put the change team or change position card on Blake Wheeler. I put him on from right wing to left wing, and now the line chemistry for that line is 100, which I really like. As well as the uh, fourth line there, I put the change team Colorado on Wayne Simmons, so he has a little bit of chemistry with Gabriel Landeskog. And honestly, I don't know how long that's gonna last. If I buy another player, and you know it's gonna replace another fourth liner, one of those guys might re be removed. But for now, there's a little bit of chemistry between the both of them. So, anyways, that is how our team is looking so far. Let's get right into the next game here. Let's see what we can do. Also, forgot to mention, I'm putting in Sergey Bobrovsky into the starting goaltender. Now we can start a game. Let's get it going. All right, here we go. Second game of the episode. He's got some pretty good players. Hall, Lindros, and I think that was Sagan on his uh, left wing there. So let's get this game going. Let's see if we can get a second game one in a row. It's going to be pretty tough, but let's get it, get it going. All right, guys. So end of the first period, and honestly, very uneventful. Not many shots on net. Four to 200 shots, three minutes, 30 seconds time on attack to two minutes and 22 seconds. We still need to play a little bit better, score a couple goals here. Let's see what we can do in the second period. Alright, so second period is done. Still not much commentating, just lots of shots on net, but nothing that I can really commentate on. 9 to 6 in shots, 6 minutes 33 seconds time on attack to 4 minutes and 40 seconds. If there's any like good moments in the third period, I'll make sure to commentate over it, but so far, very tight game, not many chances, not many good scoring chances at least, so gotta play a little bit better, and uh, we'll see how, th how the third period turns out. Yes! How did that go in? I don't even know, but Eric Johnson shoots the puck, goes right through the goalie's five hole, and we are now leading one to nothing. Oh man, that was really, really lucky. I want to take another kind of look at that one. But just a scramble in front of the net. We rip it on net, past Bishop. Oh man, he has the cheat code in net, but still, we come out one to nothing. 14 minutes left in the third. There's another goal, Logan Couture, too much time and space, 
I'm just gonna clap bomb it past Bishop like I always do. And now it is two to nothing. Nice little spinorama by Logan Couture just to get out of the way of the defender, but nice little goal by Couture. Oh, there it is, through the five hole, through the wickets of Bishop. Did a nice little backhand for it, and I thought, you know what, just go for the five hole. And it actually went in. I don't usually score those uh, five hole goals that often, but I thought I would give it a shot, and it went in by Patrick Marlowe. Nice little goal there. Trick Bishop thought he was going to go blocker, but right through the wickets. Alright, so I guess that's how it's going to end off the game. I'll fast forward just a little bit, but if we're just going to be sitting here the whole time, I think he's rage quitted after that goal, so... Uh, not much in commentating, I'll fast forward to the end of the game, and I'll show you guys the final stats. Alright, so there it is guys, we win with a score of 3 to nothing. That means we can buy another change position on a player, and we can choose the 13th, or we can raise the buy now minimum by 13k. It's going to be a pretty sick pickup, hopefully. Uh, but let's take a look at the stats here, and let's see how we did this game. Alright, so the game stats here, 15 to 9 in shots, 8 minutes, timeout attack to 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Not a bad game by him, he just couldn't really beat my defense, and I played pretty solid defensively after the first, I think, couple uh, periods that we started playing. But, uh, let's take a look at the three stars, Logan Couture with one star, Eric Johnson with another one, and Patrick Marl. So basically all our goal scorers got a star in that game, which is pretty nice. So, let's go into the auction search page, raise that buy now minimum to 13k, choose the 15th player. I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, so we are all ready to go. Buy now minimum set to 13,000. Collection type has been put onto players. So let's choose the 15th one and see what we get. I think it's due for something good already. So, we're going to pick 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Jordan Pavelski is going to be the next pickup on our team. 88 overall player. That is pretty nice if I say so myself. So let's go ahead and buy him out. Put him onto the team. Alright guys, so we threw in Pavelski into the team. And as much as I like Brian Little, I think it's time for him to go because we have too many good centermen on our team. And he was kind of like the lowest overall. 86 overall. And Pavelski is 88. So I decided to put him on the second line playing alongside with James Neal. He already had the Nashville change team on him, so it was pretty easy to do that. As well as Gustav Nike was going to be playing with him. I moved down uh, Tyler Johnson into the third line center spot. I'm not sure if you guys agree with it. So if you have any line suggestions or which pairings that you guys want to see on the team, make sure to let me know in the comment box below, and we can change that for next episode for sure. Anyways, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching episode number 18 of Hot Roulette. If you guys did enjoy it, once again, smash it a like button, or smash the like button if you want to see more episodes just like this one. Anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye. And in this pack, oh shit! Wow, Connor McDavid. I got four of you with an 84 overall, so they give us a huge boost. Damn, I, that's the first time.